There are three ways to learn YouTube. Your experience from creating content, mentorship from somebody else, research. Let's break these three down. Your experience of making videos, thumbnails, titles, editing, and the like teach you both how YouTube works and how your creative process works. It teaches you how you as a creator operates a channel. You operate a channel with a different voice just like movie directors and book authors have a different voice. The content you post, the subs you gain, the views you get, how you react to views or the lack thereof and the comments, all these things make you better over time. If you don't believe me, go ahead and after making a hundred videos and then look at your first one and I dare you to not cringe because you will and if you don't then that's bad because you should have improved from your first video and if you think your first video is still really good unless you have a background in filmmaking your first video is probably not going to be good now however there are some freak cases where some people's first videos are actually pretty good and there's no problem with not cringing to that but for the majority of people if you're like me you suck at making videos but you may not realize that you're as bad as what you are you may think you make good content in reality you, you you don't i'm sorry to break it to you your channel is a pretty accurate representation of if you're good at making videos and relating to people and it goes both ways you can make the best video but if it's not relatable to people you don't want to watch it and it can go the opposite way where you can relate to people but if it's just a horrible video no one's gonna watch it they're just gonna cringe now mentorship from an experienced creator can enhance and cultivate your creations, your videos, and all that so much quicker. It allows you to learn at a much quicker pace than when you did before, and you get to learn from someone else's mistakes so you don't repeat those. It also kind of creates a legacy because that information is passed on to you, who will maybe even pass it on to somebody else, whether that's your kid, another creator. When you get mentored, they take you on as their apprentice of sorts. Even if they don't really term it like that, that's what it is. And when you have a group of friends, or even just one that does YouTube alongside you, whether that's they have their own own channel or whether you guys combine and you work on a channel together you are mentoring each other at the same time because each person can focus on learning a specific thing or a few different things and then what that person learns they tell the other person and then what this person learns they can tell that person and so together you learn at twice the pace and that's why it's so important to find somebody to grow with because otherwise you're just learning from your own mistakes and that only gets you so far with research the final way to learn YouTube this is the only strategy that doesn't actually require YouTube because because yes, you can study YouTube yourself, but you also can get books, audiobooks, and it's basically like the other two combined in a sense because you can go read or listen to the studies that other people have done, or if you want to involve YouTube, which does make sense, you take a look at, okay, what's all the thumbnails on this channel, or this all a bunch of thumbnails from this niche, and what's, what's all the different titles for this, what's the banners look like for that, what's the descriptions, and that is how you do research on, you study and analyze look for patterns in these various things that you can then implement in your own. You can talk to creators outside of YouTube, you write down your thoughts in some type of creator journal so you can look back and see how you grow or see how maybe you got better with something and honestly I recommend doing that for when you make videos as well as write down what you want that video to do, how you want it to perform. Now combining research with mentorship and experience helps your channel out a lot better than just doing research but any one of these three this is how you learn YouTube. Hey, it's me, Shards. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to click this one over here. I'm sure you're going to love it. I'll see you over there. Don't forget to subscribe.